Now let's take a look at what's making the headlines on the front pages. And the first uh, paper that we've got here is this day. Uh, newspaper and some of the headlines go thus FIRS why we are against states collection of VAT which is a value added tax uh, FIRS why we are against states collection of VAT another top headline uh, NNPC's assets rise by 18.7 percent as corporation publishes 2020 audited results and uh, another major headline on this day newspaper, uh, federal government approves 5G network for Nigeria. And the next uh, paper we have this morning is The Guardian. Um, the top headline here is PM warns 12 billion pounds gamble will not fix care crisis. That's Boris Johnson. And he won the backing of the MPs for his controversial health and social care plan amid warnings from experts and professionals that it would fail to fix the urgent crisis in the care system. Another headline on The Guardian today is Taliban tightens control with ban on protests. The Taliban have moved to tighten their crackdown on escalating protests against their rule. Well, let's up what the Financial Times is leading with uh, this morning. The bodice headline on the front page there. Johnson secures £12 billion in tax rises to battle NHS and social care crisis. The rider, Labour votes against plan. Working graduates hit hardest. FSB wants 50,000 jobs at risk. Another headline on the front page of the Financial Times is the U.S. Treasury uh, risks running out of cash as early as next month. And that warning is coming from Treasury Secretary Yellen. Well, for more on uh, this, for analysis on the front pages this morning, uh, let's bring in Emmanuel Bello who joins us from our satellite studio. Good morning, Emmanuel. The front pages this morning. Uh, I guess we'll begin with uh, this day. Yeah. Um, Emmanuel, let's talk about uh, this bold headline, uh, which is generated mixed feelings, uh, FIRS, why we are against states' collection of that value-added tax. Is there light at the end of the tunnel for the FIRS or for the state? Oh, well, it's, uh, it's beyond the context of states and the federal government. It's about um, how eventually we're able to rectify um, on the issues. And then, like I say, at the bottom of it all is the age-long problem of uh, what the state can control, what the federal government can control, the imbalance, uh, the issue of even resource control to some extent. Uh, these things go to those questions. And um, as it is, it's actually like a statement for now because matters are in court. But uh, you can hear the arguments on both sides. Uh, the federal government is saying that, look, there is no nation in the world, unless if Nigeria is going to be different, there is no nation in the world where VATs you know, are done at subnational uh, levels and that it is a, regional, a, a national thing. Uh, can, that not be, can we not be the first to introduce a new order altogether in that? Those are the kind of arguments you are going to hear. You have people like Governor Wiki and now some other government, uh, state government, buying into the argument that, look, let's control uh, our VAT. Um, and in fact, yes, as at yesterday, there was something making the rounds on social media with Wiki saying that <laughs> we can't be selling beer in our states and then the money is going to some other people who, who, don't, who, don't even, who don't actually accept our ways of life. Why should we be paying for the ways of life of other people? You hear that kind of argument, and you see Nigeria actually, a whole lot of Nigerian key into that. that yes, let's, uh, but again, it's also for many other states a challenge for them to look at their VAT administration and see how much they are re getting out of that. And, but you also listen to uh, the argument of F uh, FIRS, at least, uh, at, the, at, that, at that level, and what they are saying. Issues of, for instance, if we allow this to happen, individuals are going to be paying two VATs across two states. For instance, you are buying something in, in Lagos or uh, anywhere in the, in, in, in the south, and you're coming to sell it in Sokoto. Uh, one of the officials made a case for that and say it will be a case of double jeopardy for the businessman because you will have to pay VAT in one part of, this, of, the, of the country and pay in another. And so it's a, all over the world, VATs are administered at the national level. Now it's up to the courts 
to interpret that and see how it is. But I think for us in the newsroom, we are going to have an interesting time as we look at this argument. I expect that in the, coming, in the coming weeks or in the coming months, a whole lot of people are going to still argue this. In fact, as a matter of fact, I see a situation where Nigeria will use this as a springboard to look at the issue of resource control. Once again, the, 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 the justice in it all, uh, that one part is producing, another is consuming, the age-long uh, crisis of that kind of argument. Uh, but again, it's also a period for challenge for uh, states where uh, you know, uh, have been accused of not producing anything, of not doing anything with their bats. And I think states will use this as an opportunity, especially states that are seen as uh, consumers and not producers. Thank you so much, uh, Emmanuel Bello.